request you all to watch the video till end like and share you can also write down the comments there so let's start the video india is a country of a vast geographical expanse in the north it is bound by the lofty himalayas the arabian sea in the west in the east the bay of bengal and indian ocean in the south washes the shores of the indian peninsula india has an area of about 3.28 million square kilometer the north south extent from kashmir to kanyakumari is about 3200 kilometer and the east west extent from arunachal pradesh to kutch is about 2900 kilometer the lofty mountains the great indian desert the northern plains the uneven plateau surface and the coast and the islands present in the diversity of the landforms there is a great variety of the climate vegetation wildlife even in the language and the culture it is the second most populous country of the world after china india is located in the northern hemisphere the tropic of cancer passes almost half way through it from south to north the main land of the india extends between 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north latitude from west to east india extends between 68 degree 7 minute east and 97 degree 25 minutes east longitude due to the great longitudinal extent of about 29 degree there could be a wide difference in the local time of places located at two extreme points of india the sun rises about 2 hours earlier in the east than in the west that's why the local time of the longitude of 82 degree 30 minute east has been taken as the indian standard time this meridian or longitude is also termed as the standard meridian of india there are seven countries that shares land boundaries with india that is pakistan afghanistan china nepal bhutan Bangladesh and Myanmar across the sea to the south the two neighbor islands are there they are Sri Lanka and Maldives Sri Lanka is separated from India by the narrow strait named as Pak Strait India is a vast country for the administrative purpose the country is divided into 28 states and 9 union territory delhi is the national capital the states have been formed mainly on the basis of language they speak rajasthan is the largest state and the goa is the smallest state in the terms of area the states are further divided into districts India geographically is divided into six major physical division the great northern mountain the northern plains the peninsular plateau the thar desert or the great indian desert the coastal plains and the islands the himalayan mountains are divided into three main parallel ranges the northernmost is the great himalaya or himadri the world's highest peaks are located in this range only the middle himalaya or the himachal lies to the south of himadri many popular hill stations such as masuri they are situated here the shivalik 
is the southernmost mountain range. Then the northern Him Indian plains. These plains lies to the south of the Himalaya. They are generally level and flat. These are formed by the alluvial deposit led by the rivers, the Indus, the Ganga, the Brahmaputra and their tributaries. These river plains provide fertile land for cultivation. This is the reason why these areas are highly populated. Now in the western part of the India, the great Indian desert lies. It is a dry, hot and sandy stretch of land. It is very thinly populated and it has very little vegetation. Now to the south of the northern plains, the peninsular plateaus are found. These plateaus are triangular in shape. The relief is highly uneven. This is the reason which has numerous hills range and valleys. Aravali Hills is the oldest range in the India and it borders on the northwest sides. The Vindhyas, the Satpuras, they are the other important ranges which are found in the peninsular plateau. River Narmada and Tapti, they flows through these ranges. These are the west flowing rivers that drain into Arabian Sea. Now the next physical division is the western ghats or Chiadris, which borders the plateau in the west and the eastern ghats provide the eastern boundaries while the western ghats are most continuous and the eastern ghats are broken and uneven. These plateaus is the rich, they are very much rich in the minerals like coal and iron ore. To the west of the western ghat and east of the eastern ghat lies the coastal plains. The western coastal plains are very very narrow and the eastern coastal plains are much broader. The number of the rivers flows through this region like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. All these rivers drains into the Bay of Bengal. These rivers, they form very fertile deltas at their mouth. The delta formed by Ganga and Brahmaputra is known as Sundarban Delta and it is found in the Bengal. Now the last geographical, geographical division is the islands. India has two main islands. The first one is the Lakshwadeep island which is located in the Arabian Sea. These islands are coral islands located off the coast of Kerala. And the second islands are the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands which lie to the southeast of the Indian mainland in the Bay of Bengal. Now we have understood that India has a variety of, uh, India has a vast range of physical features. think that you all have understood that India is a land with a wide range of physical feature. That's all in today's video. I hope you all will be benefited by this. Thank you for watching the video.